up guys? I'm Larry, your host for Noise Complaint Sessions, and today I have with me Bonsai Blues Band from Whittier, California. What's up guys? Hello, how's it going man? Nice going. Yeah. So, uh, how did all this start? Basically, me, Nick, and Scott started off as a three-piece, just playing backyard shows. I played bass at the time, and um, along the lines, Jordan came in, and Adam, and we, yeah, I don't know, we're just making music. Alright, and where does the, the name come from? Bonsai Blues Band like. It was kind of It was a quick decision Honestly Because we, we were playing For like I would say Like three months or so And we were just Working on music and stuff And we had our first show And we didn't have a name yet So we just kind of like I don't know We were just throwing stuff out there And just Bonsai came to mind we are like Oh the Bonsai And just the EYE Like I, I don't know it was like a quick quick decision kind of thing. And the blues band was just like kind of like an attachment to it? or Yeah, la- later on actually it was an attachment to it pretty much. Right on. So what got you started in music? Like, what, what inspired you? Did you just wake up one morning and you're just like, I'm going to be a musician? Mm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, I've been playing drums since I was about 10 or so. And I've been in like a few bands ever since, I guess. And then I started jamming with Dante like in uh, freshman year of high school. And then we were like jamming with Tommy, our friend Tommy, and stuff like that. And eventually we jammed with Nick and. We just kind of got it We just messed around in Scott's yeah. garage. Yeah. Uh, and then friends have just kind of come and gone. Uh, and then I guess us five have just been the ones that stuck together and formed music. And yeah, I'm pretty much. I'm I'm the odd end on the part of it because I'm one city over, like I'm Pico Rivera, like you know Whittier Boulevard, not very far, but you know I have a group of friends that we ended up meeting, you know meeting with you know Scott and everybody through the recording label initially, and after a while it's kind of like yeah we just you know our interests were kind of in the same direction so. Oh, awesome. So do you guys have what are your top five artists? We can do this collaboratively, like one at a time. I dig like right. that kraut rock kind of stuff, but I also dig like really modern stuff. But uh, yeah, I guess it would have to be like um, this group called Harmonia. Yeah. A band called Love, they're like from the 60s. Arthur Lee, Love. Mine's John Coltrane. Coltrane. Yeah, like like various old like classic rock blues artists or even just the original blues artists. Mostly like, I, I really like Robbie Krieger, The Doors, like flamenco kind of stuff. Sun Ra. Sun Ra? Right on. Sun Ra's a cosmic creature. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're from another planet. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have a favorite venue that you've played? Or have a favorite promoter that you like working with? That's not a mm-hmm. question. Yeah. Favorite venue would probably be the Blind Spot Project. Yeah. 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 In LA. Blind Spot so Definitely. They're really cool. They have a lot of, like, they do their own live visuals and stuff. And they have, they'll have, like, five projectors going on. I don't know. They're doing a good job. It's, it's, it's a cool place over there. Right on. So, who writes the music for the band? Well, um, for the most part, I write the lyrics. Okay. Um, I, I'll i bring ideas, like riffs to the table and stuff, and Adam will bring some ideas, Dante and stuff, and we'll kind of just, we'll throw something in there, and we'll see what we can do with it, work with it, make like a verse and chorus and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, we all, we all typically kind of Put it for the music. It's a it's a group effort, really. And with the lyrics, what do you what do you typically find yourself writing about? Um, I try to I try to get inspiration from kind of little things or just emotion and stuff like that. And really, it's just kind of like philosophy and just thoughts on existence and the universe and stuff like that. It's just it's all pretty inspirational. Do you guys have any pre-show rituals that you usually conduct? Like maybe like a huddle or like a prayer or like a game plan? High fives all around. <laughs> I just Smoke call a, a little a little powwow. Of, um, yeah, a little motivation. We motivation. I like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I use that. <laughs> yeah, we just we'll we'll try to if if we're able to just kind of maybe gather together and just see what we're doing for the show and just just give each other the best kind of intentions. I feel and just make sure that everybody just just ready to to give their energy. I don't know. Right on. Yeah. Just positive energy. Yeah, positive kind of energy pretty much, yeah. Um, if there is one thing, well, hold on. I'm going to make a, we're going to go into a more serious question. <laughs> if there is one thing that you could change about this world that we live in, what what would you change and why? Well, I'll start, or I'll start it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, 
say, I'd say maybe the the reptilian oligarchy <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> controlling like you know the, the common people and sitting up sitting up there in their in their big chair, just kind of playing playing with puppets and whatnot. Right on. We could definitely do without that. Do without the, the whole world domination. Yeah, pretty much just the. I think it's just more like greed. Yeah, yeah the top, greed. Just, the top like small percentage of people are just just want want everything pretty much. Yeah, just the greed that that really consumes a lot of people's minds. Is there anything you guys would change? I would go with something Scott's told me before: the monetary system. Just like take that down, change what we take for like wealth, change that up. Live more naturally. He <laughs> said. Right. On. So, um, is there anyone that you'd like to personally thank for your success, like where you're at right now, like somebody who's always been in your corner, just rooting for you, no matter what? Mm. I think our families. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely my parents, cause they let us practice hours on end in my garage. Yeah, and really. Record out of my house and all that good stuff. The Asher family, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really, I, I feel like we all just, I don't know, we all, I, I feel like we all get a good support from our family and each other's family at times and, like, I mean, just each other, really, and our, our friends that we have and stuff, they're all, they're all constant inspirations and they just, we all kind of motivate each other, it's, it's pretty nice. That's good. Yeah. Um, has anyone ever hated on your music? And, like, if so, how did you, how did you deal with that, that negative criticism? Mm-hmm. Uh, People, <laughs> I'm sure people have hated on our music, and I mean, maybe not as direct about our music. People have maybe like said things about us and stuff. I just feel like we try to, I don't know. It, it, you kind of have to just laugh it off. You just kind of like <laughs> it's not. If anything, it's it's ego, and maybe it's confusion or just miscommunication. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a little. Doesn't really matter too much, you know. It's just something that. You just shrug off. You just gotta accept yeah. and you just gotta shrug off and just be like, you know, it's, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, just it's almost, yeah, it's almost like, you know, when you're, when you're on your purpose, you know, like in life, like all those, you know, kind of like little petty things along the way, like are like really secondary. If anything, they, they don't really matter at all. Yeah. And it's just all like, you know, just focus on like where you, where you need to go, you know? And, yeah. It's a good cool way to look at it. Do you guys have any social medias or shout outs that you'd like to tell anybody at home, you know, just. Well, we have um, an Instagram, Twitter, you know, all that good stuff. Facebook, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, yeah. Bandcamp, Bandcamp yeah. yeah, all the usual, all the good stuff. Soon yeah. to be Spotify, <laughs> yeah, we'll be on Spotify yeah. soon. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're working on. Um, honestly, just trying to get on much. more bigger platforms and stuff. And yeah, yeah. Well, right on. Well, well, shout outs. Uh, well, shout how about yeah? Shout, shout outs, I guess. Go. Shout outs to all the bands that we've worked with, you know, like uh, Family of Light, um, sure. These Pilgrims, um, Indigo, State. Indigo State. I mean, there's a lot, like, yeah, all of our friends, everybody from the Crystal Gallery, like, um, yeah, like, everybody we've we've worked with and that continues to work with us, I think that's, like, the big shout out. Yeah. yeah. Check, like, yeah, Super definitely check all those yeah. groups out. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. Well, I'm a lot of questions. So, um, right. <laughs> I just want to thank my guests for being here with me today. For more information on Noise Complaint or the Bonsai Blues Band, you can check out the links below. And thank you guys. Thank you guys thank so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah.